Good morning, viewers. Um, I am currently in Faisalabad, but I had to make this short vlog as this is the 100th birth anniversary of Dr. Muhammad Ajmal, who um, was the pioneer of Muslim psychology in Pakistan. In fact, he was the pioneer of psychology, period, in Pakistan. And um, he set up the first psychology department at uh, Government College, which was uh, initially the uh, Punjab University's only psychology department. Then he also had a hand in um, setting up psychology departments all over Pakistan. He was also the founder of um, National Institute of Psychology in Islamabad, which has been named after him. Um, the reason why I'm doing this short vlog today is not um, I, I don't think it does justice to his memory. Um, so what I would do is have a short clip in every video that I make throughout September and about his contribution or his life or something from his life. So every video during the month of September shall contain a short clip about Dr. Muhammad Ajmal. Any information that I'm able to find, I will share with you because this is our history. We say that we don't have heroes, we don't have great men. So in the 20th century, mein, Dr. Muhammad Ajmal was a towering personality and he dominated the intellectual scene, not, here, not just here in Pakistan. He rubbed shoulders with the greats like Albert Ellis, Carl Menninger, um, and uh, Michael Fordham. Uh, he was, um, you know, he was one of the few people in Pakistan who actually met Carl Jung before he passed away. Um, so, or unke jo contemporaries the, unke jo contemporaries the Pakistan mein, like. Uh, if I talk about Safdar Meer, Faiz Ahmed Faiz, uh, Ahmed Faraz, uh, I remember my house, and then Ibn Insha, and then Marhum Chukhtai, because uh, his son tells me that they had a bit of a falling out. But these were good people, their own problems, that's not something for me to talk about. But I would just say, that he belonged to an era where he carved his own space, his own place in history. And that is the history of psychology, philosophy, um, and uh, overall education in Pakistan. Because he was also the Federal Secretary of Education, um, you know, for, during uh, Zulfakar Ali Bhutto's regime. <coughs> now, that was quite unusual because... Uh, federal Secretary is Amtor Pevoa, civil service. Aate the. So he was the only education secretary, I think, in the history of Pakistan that actually came from the education carer. And that's something for you know future governments to think about. When you have educationists ko education ka in charge, hai, we saw the uh, unfolding of the Open University, Alama Iqbal Open University during his tenure. We saw the Qadiazim University. Uh, in Islamabad take shape. It was already there, but he um, contributed a great deal to its development. Uske alawa, Pakistan mein jo ek puri generation hai psychologists ki. Unme se, unfortunately, kuch log jo hain, they've passed away. Like uh, the great Muhammad Parvez. Uh, I was very fond of him. Um, a great man, a great psychologist. In this way, Seema Parvez is, Allah Ta'ala has a long life. Um, uh, then there is Max Babri, who is a legend. So, these are all their students. Then the great Umair Hashmi. And not only was he his uh, favorite student, but also served under him as uh, head of department at government college when my father was principal. So, that's it. Unki jo berkhal mein sabse badi contribution hai, wo Pakistan mein psychology ke cause ko further karna hai. So, you know, that is at a 
what I would say, at an awareness level or at an administrative level. And at the same time, if intellectually, they can do their intellectual contribution to Muslim psychology ki growth or development. Mein. Unka apna jo PhD thesis tha, that was a comparison of Jungian and Freudian psychoanalysis. Or, um, you know, it's there at London University. And, um, so, Bukhtasaran Baspa, you can achara unke this whole month we will be celebrating his life and his work. Uh, and um, every video will contain a short clip about that. So viewers, stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe. Khuda Hafiz.